Despite sounding like something you could figure out with a stack of liability waivers, a room full of volunteers, and an afternoon, the title of world's deadliest snake is somewhat hotly contested by experts on the subject. That said, it's widely agreed that the title of world's most venomous snake belongs to the Inland Taipan, a snake that, contrary to what you'd expect, has never actually killed anybody. Okay, so why is it that the world's most venomous snake is not the deadliest? Yeah, it is kind of confusing because you think by default the world's most venomous snake would just be the deadliest by virtue of the fact it can kill a creature by farting on it, basically. Because um, the Inland Taipan has venom so potent that one drop of it could kill a hundred fully grown adult men. And for anyone curious about why the Inland Taipan has such potent venom, um, unlike a lot of snakes, it near exclusively hunts warm-blooded mammals, um, you know, like humans, and as a result, its venom is basically precision engineered to kill things like that. So yeah, humans, um, not great at dealing with inland taipan venom. And as mentioned, like one bite could kill a hundred like fully grown humans or something like an elephant very easily. And you think, well, that sounds awful. Why is that not the world's deadliest snake? And the reason is, is that whilst the inland taipan is easily the most venomous snake on planet earth, um, it doesn't really attack humans all that much. And is in fact quite a placid, docile creature that largely ignores humans when encountered. And as a result, it hasn't killed anyone, as we'll get to in a moment. And in fact, snakes that are technically less dangerous on paper are considered to be deadlier because they attack humans more. If that's the case, then what snakes are considered the deadliest? Uh, it's, it's, it's not clear. Well, scientists and experts aren't really in agreement because there are a number of factors that come into play when deciding like what snake is the deadliest. Uh, but some of the ones that are considered to be the most dangerous include like king cobras and rattlesnakes just because they attack humans in such abundance. They're such aggressive snakes. And if you think about it, it does make sense. Like if there's an inland taipan and a king cobra in front of you, whilst on paper the inland taipan has more chance of killing you if it bites you, the king cobra is far more likely to bite you. <laughs> because it's a fucking King Cobra. You don't earn a name like that without fucking people up. The, the inland type and just can't be asked. <laughs> it can't, no. It's a very docile and placid snake. And um, according to experts who handle snakes for a living, I guess snake handlers you might call them, uh, the inland type is an incredibly easy snake to handle if you can deal with the alarming regularity with which you shit yourself while holding one, knowing that it possesses the deadliest, most potent venom of any snake on planet Earth. Adding to the danger uh, posed by an inland taipan is the fact that it is capable of striking, and I quote, near instantly multiple times. So when it strikes, it can strike before your eyes can even comprehend what's happening multiple times. Oh my god. And each bite um, is almost guaranteed to result in envenomation, which means that when it bites you, you will be injected by venom. It does seem a bit insane that they have to bite so many times. It's pretty extra. Yeah, you'd think, wouldn't you? Like, it's already got the most potent venom of any snake on earth. Why does it need to bite me multiple times? And that's because um, even though snakes are highly honed creatures, like that have spent millions of years evolving into basically the perfect killing machines, then they don't always inject venom with every single bite. And I think even the most aggressive and dangerous snakes on earth only have like an 80% envenomation rate, which means there's like an eight, a 20% chance you can be bitten by one and it won't inject you with venom. But when it bites you five times, that chance is basically like you've got a 1% chance that you're not going to get injected by at least a little bit of venom. Yeah. And when a little bit of venom, as mentioned, can kill like a hundred fully grown adult men, you are fucked. And then you have things like cobras, which will spit the venom at your eyes, blinding you and then bite you. So like doubly make sure that you get fucked up. And that's why those snakes are considered to be deadlier than something like the Inland Taipan, even though on paper their venom isn't as dangerous. Yeah, because the, the King Cobra will make sure you're dead. And then it will writhe around on your body and just shit everywhere. <laughs> and like, Anisha, I, I, I know this is probably not a nice thing to think about, but what animal are you most scared of based purely on how it attacks people? Because I think cobras, specifically like, you know, the cobras that spit venom at your eyes, that the one for me is one of the scariest. After hearing this story, I'm scared of snakes now. <laughs> yeah, I think for me, it's like the idea that a snake will blind you, and then while you're blind, then it'll attack you, because that sounds terrifying. And another one for me is things like tarantulas. Do you know they flick the hairs at your eyes? Oh, yeah. I, I hate oh. the idea of that, where they flick hairs at you, and they get it into your eyes, and they make you choke, and then while you're choking, they either run away, or just pounce, and they'll get you. And I know they don't do that. I know, for the most <laughs> part, spiders are quite docile and will run away from humans. I watched 
the film, what's that film about the spider? Arachnophobia. I watched that as a kid and I remember that was the spider that jumps at the guy. Come and get it. <laughs> and that image is in my head forever and I'll never be able to escape <laughs> it. I'm so scared, and I know spiders don't do that, but they did in that one movie and that's the image that's in my head. There's been times where I've found a spider on the floor and it's like started crawling towards me. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh my God, this is it. <laughs> it's going to jump. This is it, yeah. And you know they don't, but in your head it might. Snakes, for the most part, I'm not really scared of snakes. Like, you know, because we don't really have... I, I wasn't until now. <laughs> so, I, 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 you know, if I saw one, like a cobra, I'd, I'd keep my distance because it's a fucking <laughs> snake. Yeah. But like, I, I don't have that, like, you know, just, just instinctual dread upon seeing like I am with spiders. And I think whilst like a snake would be more dangerous like to me, I would be paralysed by fear if like a tarantula was in the corner of this room. Because I feel like if there was like a snake in front of the door, I could like, you know, like use a broom handle to move it out of the way and run away. If that was a tarantula, I'm like, that's it, I'm going to cry. I'm going to like fucking Uber Eats and just ask, send the biggest guy you've got, please help me. Okay, so bringing it back to the snake. Yeah, the inland Taipan. It's... Super dangerous, yes, but it doesn't give a fuck. No, it pretty much. It's a super, super docile snake, and it's noted that um, um, in almost every encounter with humans, it will um, try to run away or adopt a very obvious defensive stance of curling into an S shape, which is something a lot of snakes do, so they can like you know get the power to strike. If you ignore that, then they'll strike multiple times in the blink of an eye and fuck you all the way up. And folks at home, you probably already guessed. Yes, this thing comes from Australia. And that makes what I'm about to say next even more impressive way. It is one of the most feared creatures by Aboriginals in Australia. And for a moment, you should consider all of the other things that live in Australia, all of the deadly snakes and insects that call that continent their home. Ancient Aboriginals feared the inland Taipan more than anything else. I imagine mean, saltwater crocodiles. Yep, crocodiles. The many spiders and yep. stuff like that. You've got black widows over there, um, uh, giant huntsmen, things like that. But hopefully there's yep. no picture of these behind us, fuck that. Yeah, you've got all these um, uh, like awful, <laughs> awful things that call that um, continent their home. Um, Aboriginals were mostly scared and they respected this snake more than, more than anything. And you would think, knowing that, that being bitten by an inland taipan was effectively a death sentence. But that doesn't appear to be the case. What do you mean by that? Well, according to every source I consulted while researching this article, there has never been a single confirmed death from an inland taipan bite, ever. Um, in modern history. And someone out there is probably thinking right now to be a smart ass. Well, you said that it avoids humans, and there's probably been a fact bar below describing that it lives in a very remote part of Australia where nobody really goes. Maybe that's why no one's been bitten by one. No, like a lot of people have come into contact with this snake because it's very popular with collectors and zoos. And it's also worth noting that almost every person who's ever been bitten by one has been either a collector or someone working in a zoo. So the people bitten by this snake almost always end up being people who handle snakes for a living. Although inland taipan bites are notably rarer than other snake bites due to its docile nature, um, every person who's ever been bitten by one has survived because I think you can just take a basic anti-venom will counteract the effects of venom, despite how potent it is. Oh, right. And there are even cases of like a 14 year old boy, I think it was, was bitten by a pet one. And you think like, you know, this venom can kill 100 fully grown men. What's the fucking teenager gonna survive? Like, a teenager not gonna survive that and he did. Wow. Obviously it hurt. Yeah. And he was in hospital for a couple of weeks, but he, he like, you know, he walked away. And there's some older accounts I found for people who bitten by the snake and survived describing it. Like, yeah, it sucked, but I'm all right now. And I know, I know that when I'm saying all this, some smart ass is going to send me an email or a tweet or post in the comments that they found an article where someone was killed by a taipan snake. And I found those articles too, and you should probably read that they were coastal taipans, not inland taipans. They're different kinds of snake. <sighs> I know that I'm going to get someone saying that, but I found an article where a guy was killed by a taipan. Yeah, a coastal taipan. They're different kinds. I just thought it was kind of interesting that the world's most venomous snake like not the world's deadliest, but the world's most venomous. The one that could like easily kill a hundred men with the venom produced in one of its bites has never killed anyone. That's impressive considering like you know all the shit that lives in Australia. It's like everything in Australia wants to kill you. 